Hi, Juan. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. What about you? How's your, I'm good. How's your neck? My neck is much better. Thank you for asking. Yes. It's, it's nice to hear that. Yes, my neck is much better. Now I just have massive allergies. <laughs> okay. Okay. If it's not one thing, it's another with me, Juan. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you are so young to start with that. I know. They say, though, they say um, pregnancy makes your allergies really bad. So. Oh, yeah. Just, the, the, how do you say gajes del oficio? Uh, say it again. Gajes del oficio. I don't know. I'm going to say. I don't know. Because you're pregnant, you have of this uh, sickness, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's a saying in Spanish could say is gajes del oficio, but I, I don't know how to say in English. So what is the meaning? I don't know. Jesus, do you know how to say that in English? I really don't know. You don't know either. Okay. No. All right. Oh well. How are you, Jesus? I'm fine. And um, how's everything going? Should good. I Good, good, good. If I could breathe better, it'd be fabulous. But since I can't, we'll just say it's going good. <laughs> so. Did you sleep uh, well tonight? Um, last, last night. Last night. Um, yes. yeah. Uh, for the most part, I I wake up every now and again because I like I start coughing because I'm so congested. But um, for the most part, I slept really good. The baby we started kicking at like five o'clock this morning though so <laughs> I was like no go back to sleep it's not time to get up yet so but yeah so um, did you guys all have a good Mother's Day with your moms yeah we celebrate the Friday this Friday oh that's right you guys celebrate Friday that's right I forgot yeah but uh, here in Mexico is still uh, celebrating right they celebrate yeah Friday Saturday Sunday and oh. even Monday too. Yeah, that's because you guys always have to have a, have a, have an excuse to have a party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. Awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, we have two Jesuses. Um, Jesus Flores, how are you today? I'm trying to think about that. I'm looking and looking and looking. I can't find the right expression. Where are you from, I'm Jesus? Fine, thank you very much. I'm from Colombia, South America. From Colombia, okay, all right. Oh, so you speak Spanish too, then? Mm-hmm. Yeah, awesome. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Where do you live in Colombia? I live in a city called Barranquilla. It's in the northern part of the country, okay. close to the uh, or coastal. Okay. All right. Excellent. Where do you say? To what? Where he said? Colombia. Yeah, which mm -hmm. part of Colombia? It's in the northern part. The city is called Barranquilla. Barranquilla. Ah, okay. You might have heard of it at one point. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and let's see. Um, Christian, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Did I have you a have... question to make it to you. Sure. I don't know how to ask. It's okay to say how many months pregnant you are. Are you? Uh, how many? Yeah. How many? Um, how many months are you? Or how, in English, we have a, a different expression that we say, um, "How far? How far along are you?" So. How far along are you? <laughs> I'm. I'm six months. I'm six months. So. Do you know if, if it's going to be a girl, or a it's boy? It's a boy. It's a boy. Yes. So, I uh have -huh. a. I have a little boy. He's, he's seven months. Oh, how sweet. Aww. How sweet, how sweet. Awesome. Very good. And Christian, where do you live again? I'm from Argentina. From Argentina. Excellent. Uh, Mauricio helped us out. Occupational hazard. Yes, part of the job. Ga what is it? Gajes del oficio? Am I saying that right? Gajes? Is that right? Yes, that's the question that Juan Maturano made. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. It is all. I'm going to start using that. Every time I have a pregnancy symptom, I'm just going to say, Gajes del oficio. 
<laughs> this is our easy. I need to write that down. Um, <laughs> so, awesome. Um, Fook, how are you? Hi, thanks. Good to how see you? you. I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Nice to see you. Yes. And uh, Roberto, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? Good. Excellent. Very good. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Sorry? I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Uh, I'm a little busy this, oh, that's this good. weekend. That's good. Busy is good. Busy yes. Is good. And uh, Zinyu, how are you? Hi, are you there? Uh, hey, how are you? Hi, thank you. Good. Teacher, yes. You will be the happiest woman in the world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you are the, you are the, you are the happiest woman <laughs> in the world. I thank you. Thank you. I do try to be happy. I'm not always happy though. Believe me. There are days where it's like <sighs> no. Oh. <laughs> oh, teacher. I can't hear you. Maybe you are frozen. Hi everybody. Can you hear me? No, we can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we teach her either. She escaped me from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe she has some collection problem. Where are you from, Zhang? From China. China? Yes, I'm from oh. China. Oh, teacher, come back. I have no idea. I don't know what happened. It said my connection was lost. That's really weird. It's very strange. Oh, no problem. I'm Peter, back. You, you can, you can continue your talk. Okay. This I don't know. I don't know talk. where. I don't know where uh, where I left off. So. Um, where it went bad, but we're going to be talking about adjectives today, guys. So, um, adjectives are words that modify or describe nouns. So, we're going to talk about what order you should put adjectives in if you have multiple adjectives, and we're just going to do some different activities um, with them. So before we get started with that, let's have everyone introduce themselves. So if you could just say your name and where you're from. And um, I don't know, if you did anything fun this weekend, what did you do? And Christian, we'll start with you. OK, my name is Christian. I'm from Argentina. I live in the south of this country and I didn't do anything this weekend because it was snowing a lot so I couldn't go out. It was <coughs> snowing? Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Uh, it isn't winter yet but we are in autumn and it starts to know snow here. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. that sounds terrible. <laughs> yes. We have no life here. No life. <laughs> yeah, you can do. Winter. You can do anything. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Is summer is much better 
Yes. Uh, a little bit because a it is uh, too windy. A lot of wind. Um, okay. And you said you're in Argentina? Yes. Okay. But in the south of Argentina? Yes, in a small town, El Calafat is named next okay. to the mountains. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, maybe I'll skip going there. <laughs> Whenever you want, we can wait for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> just make sure. Just make sure. Yeah, I won't go in winter. That's for sure. Um, uh, Goliath. Are you there, Goliath? Hi. Hey. Um, How are you? I'm watching you and listening to you. Okay, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Nope. I'm uh, Ayad. I'm from Algeria. Okay. Do you how know I, where it is? Uh huh. Yes, I do. Um, uh -huh. How do I say your name? Uh, it's Ayad, but you can Ayad. call me Ayad. Okay. It mm -hmm. okay. uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Excellent. Welcome. And, um, Jesus? Jesus Flores? So, well, good morning, everyone. I'm Jesus Flores. I'm from Barranquilla, Colombia. I'm 23, and I'm going to be a teacher. Like, um, how do I say your name? Shanae? Shanae. Shanae. Okay. Shanae. Sorry uh -huh. about that. So, if anything, I'm here to see how you teach your classes and see if I can learn something from it. Awesome. Very good. Very good. Are you going to teach English? Yep, that's what I'm studying for. I'm an education major. I'm going to teach ESL too. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Are you going to teach kids or adults? Adults. Adults. Oh come that's on. What I prefer. Teach kids. You're so exciting. So, I taught I taught kids um, for years before I taught adults. It's very different. Why the change of heart? Um. Well, that's a long story, but I do still teach oh, okay. kids. I do still teach kids at my church. I do still teach um, Sunday school, but um, the public school system here in the U.S. So it'll kind of mess up your passion for teaching kids really quick. So it's a bummer. So you can see that what, happening. What, yeah. what do you teach? What do I teach? Yes. Well, right now, all I for for work, all I teach is ESL. So you guys, this is what I do for a living. But um, for my Sunday school kids, I just teach them about the Bible. So yeah, so. So they got it's Bible study sessions. Uh huh. Yeah, it's called Sunday school. So basically, my wife, when, when their my parents wife are in church, yeah. So when their when their parents when their parents go to church, then they send their kids to me. And I take care of their kids and teach their kids while they go to church. So it's fun. It's really, it's really nice. Yeah, it's fun. I actually do. Some, well, we have something like that, but on Saturdays. On Saturdays? Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, welcome to class. Nice to meet you. Welcome. And um, Jesus, other Jesus. Well, I'm Jesus Armando. I'm from Mexico. I'm 23 years old. I'm a computer engineer and. That's it. And Juan. Hello. Hello, everybody. This is Juan from Mexico, Mexico City. I am 42 years old. I work as a carpenter. Um, that's all. Hey, how's the volcano? What? The volcano? I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Uh, yeah, was... I know what is volcano, but uh, what was your question? Um, Is it... Is it erupt? I heard that it's erupting in Mexico. Oh, yeah, City. yeah, yeah. Oh. You you mean the Popocatépetl? Yes. No, no, no. I, I, no. Well, uh, until I know, it's using yellow alert, okay. so it's no problem yet. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully it won't be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hopefully scary. because. It cause it can cause a lot of damage. Yeah, a lot, and there's no getting away from it. I, mean, I don't know. So. Jesus is uh, too in danger <laughs> because it is in Veracruz, but uh, it, he's very big. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Excellent. Um, well, keep me posted. 
one. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, Fook. Uh, my name is Fook. I'm from Vietnam. I'm 26 years. Uh, I'm student. Excellent. Very good. And Roberto. Hi, my name is Roberto. I'm from Brazil. I am 38 years old, and that's it. Oh, teacher has uh, a collection problem. Yes. Everybody, can you hear me? If a teacher don't come back, I will be your teacher. <laughs> well, what do you what do you can teach for us? I can teach you English. No Chinese. I prefer Chinese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ni hao. Chi chi. Ni hao. Ni hao. Oh. You can speak Chinese? You can say ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know why it keeps doing oh. that to me. Teacher, oh, we will kneel. We will kneel. Everybody is uh, practicing Chinese. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are learning Chinese as I get kicked out of my class. I love it. Yes. You don't, you don't like Christian time. I, I already know how to say hello. Ni hao is how you say yeah. hello in, in Mandarin, right? Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. All right. Maybe we'll learn Chinese for the hour. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Very good. Um, Roberto, I thought you were frozen. It must have been me that's frozen, but I'm sure um, I'm sure everything is great on your end. So, um, is it Tamim? Yes, uh, I live uh, in Syria. I'm uh, 27 years old. Uh, I'm jobless. You know the situation uh, in Syria is uh, there are uh, no vacancies uh, in the public or private uh, sectors. Yeah, yeah. I hope that you guys. I always um, pray that you guys stay safe. But over there, uh, where? So. But teacher, where are you from? I live in the United States. So yeah, I live. I live in California. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm originally from Arizona, so, but um, yes, um, I I'm glad that you're that you're here with us, Tamim, and I um, wish nothing but the best for your family and uh, your safety over there in Syria. So, um, and welcome. Sorry, would you repeat the last us. sentence? The uh, line is cut off. Oh, I wish nothing but the best for you and your family and your safety in Syria. So. so, thank you so much. Thank you. No thank problem. you. No problem. And um, Zinyu? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. My name is Zinyu. I am come from China. It's a, a, it's a big country. It has gonna... <laughs> the largest population in the world. Yeah. I, where, where's China? Um, no, I'm and, just I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a history teacher. A now history teacher? I want to be now I want to be 
an English teacher like awesome. uh, like me, um, like you, but uh, my English is very poor. But uh, I want to improve my English in the single. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. I think. Uh, very good. I think. Uh, Chilei is uh, the most beautiful teacher in the Klingo. Everyone <laughs> well, likes her. Wow. Everyone mm -hmm. celebrate her. I, d I do my best. <laughs> Everyone will celebrate her. She is, she is pregnant. She will I am. <laughs> have a cute baby. Mm. I Thank hope you. so. I hope so. Thank you very much, Zinni. That's very sweet. Um, okay, guys, let's get started before I get kicked out again. So we are going to start um, with uh, personality adjectives. So adjectives that describe people's personalities. So I have a worksheet that we're going to work on. And you can see in the red box that we have some adjectives. Remember, adjectives are words, is a part of speech that is used to modify or describe a noun. So, um, Christian, can I get you to read all the, all the words in the red box? Okay. Personality adjective: happy, lazy, carefree, witty, sweet, hardworking, interesting, quiet, demanding, and funny. Good. So we're going to use these adjectives to fill in the blanks of the sentences. So the first one. Um, if I could have, um, Goliath, if I could have you read number one for me. Yeah, sure. I envy her. She's always smiling. She's really, she's really funny person. Happy person. Yeah, probably happy. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's always smiling, so she's a really happy person. Exactly. Good. Um, Jesus, can I have you do number two? Jesus Flores? Or Jesus from Colombia? Is everybody frozen again? No? Maybe okay. we lost them. Phew. I thought it was my connection again. I'm like, no way. Mm, can't hear him. You're okay. All right. Jesus from, Mexi from Mexico. Can you do number two for me? Okay. Uh, isn't she an um, interesting professor? Uh-huh. Or funny? Interesting. I think interesting would work well. Uh-huh. I just love listening to her lectures. Excellent. Very good. Juan, can you do number three for me? Yeah. When I first met him, I thought he was just a... Uh, but now that I know him, I think it's... Uh, oh, my God. He has a <laughs> voice in the floor. Okay. Maybe you can see a lazy guy. But now... That I know him, I think he is super hardworking. He always says nice things and buy me flowers. Let's see. If... Oh, no. I... The second one is sweet. Uh huh. I would say so. Yeah, the second one, he's super sweet because he always says nice things and buys me flowers. Oh, yeah. The mountain? What do you think the first blank would be? The mountain, maybe. <laughs> Demanding? I think it, it's quiet. Quiet? Uh-huh. Maybe no, quiet. It's negative. It's negative thing. Yeah, negative it's gonna thing. be yeah, it's definitely gonna be something negative because we have the word but. 
So she we're going to acquire. I think that. that would be I think that would work. When I first met him, I thought he was just a quiet guy. But now that I know him, I think he's super sweet. Let's see. Mm. We'll we'll do the rest of them and, and see. I gave you the hard I think I gave you the hardest one one. I so. think it's demanding the first no? Yeah, I think it's demanding me too. Well because can somebody go ahead and describe what demanding means. Always uh, 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 again, something uh, like that. Demanding, uh, asking not, for money. Uh, bit. Not he's, necessarily. Is uh, serious. Demanding, same like money, same. you could describe me as a. I'm. I am, but I'm not. I'm a very. If you have a teacher who's very demanding. They demand that you are um, that you come to class on time. They demand that you have all your homework done. They demand that you do your you do your best to get good grades. So demanding means that you expect a lot out of people. For example, if you have a very demanding boss, they demand that you work overtime. That you skip your vacation. Um, a demanding girlfriend. A demanding oh, yeah. girlfriend. Yes, you must give her all of your time and take her out to nice dinners and buy her flowers every week. Where yes. were you? What was I? Like I, I so wasn't. Much. I wasn't demanding when my husband and I were dating. I just. I. I just had to train him. Demanding and jealous is different. Oh, yes. Jealous is very different from demanding. Yes. Train him like a pet? <laughs> yes. All men need training. Are you kidding me? Oh, don't exaggerate. <laughs> I don't know if you realize, but we are all men here. I know. That's why I said that. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, if you, uh, Juan, Juan's married. Juan knows. You guys have to be trained. So. Yeah. So. All right. Let's uh, let's keep going with this, guys. So, so um, I think is the demanding is the, the the best fit here. Demanding? Yeah, for me, I think because uh, when he said, but now that I know him, I think he's super sweet. So maybe at the beginning he start demanding her. I don't know. Okay, let's look at number four, though. Ah, uh, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, number four, number four is where demanding would fit. Like I was just talking about, you know, this this boss doesn't want uh, his employees to relax ever. So yep. number four a slave is driver. yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, good, yeah, good expression, <laughs> a slave driver. Uh huh. So. Uh, for number three, um, a quiet guy. You might confuse, sometimes people will confuse someone who's quiet, you know, someone who doesn't talk a lot. Sometimes if, you, if somebody describes somebody as quiet. Quiet and shy could be the same. Yes, exactly. And sometimes when people are that way or their personalities are that way, they get Mis, um, misunderstood. You know, people might think that they um, are kind of standoffish, you know, that they're not very friendly or maybe they're not very nice. Um, and you have to get to know them first before they will warm up to you. So that's kind of what this, this gal is saying. You know, at first I thought he was just this quiet guy, but you know, now that I know him, he's really sweet and really nice and, you know, all of that. So, mm -hmm. okay. quiet people are the most dangerous ones. Yeah, I think we said there are mo mosquitas muertas. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, uh, because they, seems that they don't kill a fly, but, I, oh, my God. Yeah, So you say so, so you have that expression to Mexico? Juan? Yori? 
I mean, you said you said mosquitas muertas. I didn't know you had that too in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, I it's don't... expression here. I don't use it. Oh, I don't you don't use it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, not very often, anyway. Maybe, maybe because you are a mosquita muerta. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. What's happening, my friend? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's look at number five. Um, Fook, can you do number five for me? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Kai Fees. Yeah. Carefree. Uh huh. Yeah. Carefree. Exactly. Yes. Sometimes I wish I could be more carefree like my brother. Nothing bothers him. So if somebody is a carefree person, they don't get upset very easily. They don't get mad. Um, you know, like, like this sentence says, nothing really bothers them. They don't get anxious or um, upset about things very often. So I am not a carefree person. <laughs> I, do, I, take, I take things very seriously, sometimes too seriously, I think. So. Maybe sensitive. Sensitive, uh-huh, yep. Sensitive, sensitive could also be a word, uh-huh. Um, let's look at number six. Six. So, um, Roberto, can you do number six for me? And I'll scroll up so you can see. If you want to be successful, the most important thing is to be. Let me see the words, teacher. Is to be. Um, hard working. Yeah. As possible. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And Weary number, say that again, one. Witty can function there. No, no. Mm -hmm. Witty is like you're quick on your feet. You know, if mm -hmm. somebody if somebody says something, you can come back really quick with a comeback. I thought it was saying something in funny way. It can be that way too. But if so, witty and funny are, are a little bit different. Um, somebody who's funny, you know, they can make you laugh and, and that kind of thing. If you're witty, and you'll see this in the example sentences, if you're witty, it means that you can, like I said, you think quickly on your feet. You can come up with an answer pretty quick and make somebody laugh at the same time. Just I checked it. Uh, witty is used in words in a clever and amusing way. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> clever clever is the key word there. Clever is the key word. So if somebody... Let's, let me see if I can think of a situational example. Um, witty remarks. Witty remarks, yeah. So if somebody says something to you... Let's say somebody says something to you that could be could be um, interpreted as somewhat offensive. If you're a witty person, then you come back with a clever thing to say that is funny and kind of takes the takes the pressure off. So it's not just that you're being funny. Being funny is totally different. Being witty is, it, like I said, the key word there is being clever. That you can think quickly um, in order to turn the situation around in your favor. That's being witty. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, like someone who see a haircut of a woman, uh, his wife. And it, it's ugly, he can say something to not uh, lie, but he can tell the truth in a clever way. Like, uh, it's uh, like it, but it needs, uh, I like it, but it needs some, uh, it's, uh, it needs some change, like that. 
Um, to avoid the problem, yeah. Actually, in that situation, I would say that a better a better example would be let's say a woman got a haircut and you know goes home to show it to her husband, and he says something like, "What did you do to your hair?" And she comes back with something like, "What did you do to your face?" So something that's kind of <laughs> something that's kind of clever and you know kind of turning it back on the other person that's being witty okay. it's thinking yeah thinking quick on your feet so mm -hmm. um let's do some more of these um number seven why are you always so what clean your room do your homework do anything lazy lazy yeah lazy <laughs> No offense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, number eight, uh, why why do you like Jake? He makes me laugh. He's blank. That's really important funny. to me. Funny. Yep, funny. that's funny. Now look at number nine. I wish I were more blank. I never think of good things to say quickly. Witty, witty. Yeah. Witty. Yep, that is witty. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. That's good for that one. one thing I want to definitely go over, um, this class has gone by really fast. Um, I want to go over this. Okay. Is this still big enough for you guys? Oh, it's kind of small. Can everybody see that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is really important. Um, this is kind of, I, this is definitely what I want to go over for at least the rest of class. So in English, it is common to use more than one adjective before a noun. For example, he's a silly young fool or she's a smart, energetic woman. When you use more than one adjective, you have to put them in the right order according to type. Believe it or not, there is a right order. And this is this, um, and I'll give you this resource when we're done with this so that you can have it. But there really is an order, and this is the order. Okay? So you have first, you would want to express the opinion, second, the size. Third, the age. Fourth, the shape. Fifth, the color. Sixth, the origin. Seventh, the material. And eighth, the purpose. Okay. My God. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll give you this. It's um, and we're gonna do some practice with this. So this is the correct. Um, the correct order. And here are some examples. Let's see, I'm going to have you guys read these out loud for me. Um, Tamim, can I get you to do the opinion and the size one for me? Uh, uh, you want to get uh, my opinion about the size of what? Um, can you read these first two for me about opinion and size? Uh, okay. Uh, an opinion uh, adjective explains what you think about something. Other people may, may not agree with you. Examples, silly, beautiful, horrible, difficult. Uh, sorry, uh, now I can't see the paragraph. Sorry, I can't see the paragraph now. Uh, what, is it blurry or what happened? Uh, we see it, it will come. I uh, just see your picture. <laughs> um, either that or make sure that you click on my picture in the bottom. You know how all of no, our no. pictures are along the bottom. No, no, no. I don't. Uh, now it's uh, now I can see the but a size adjective, of course. No. 
I see the paragraph as a photo of uh, Goliath gold. Oh, okay, yeah. So what you want to do, Tamim, is click um, on my picture in the bottom, okay. and that will keep the paragraph on the screen for you. You're welcome, if you see me. <laughs> I press on uh, yes. Uh, a size adjective, of course. Uh, again, I don't know why this uh, this uh, it disappear uh, the paragraph and as size long adjective. As you, of as course, long as tell you, you how big or small something is. Examples: uh, large, tiny, enormous, little. Good. Yeah, as long as you guys, um, and that goes for everyone, make sure that, um, you know how all of our pictures are along the bottom? Make sure that you click on my picture so that when I share a screen like this, it's big for you. If you don't, then the picture will change to whoever is talking. So you want to make sure that you have, um, have my picture clicked. Um, is it Niraj? Yes, yes, ma'am. How are you? Fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, can you read about age and shape for us? Yeah, definitely. An age adjective tells you how young or old some, something or someone is. Example, second, new, young, old. Shape. A shape adjective describes the shape of something. Example is square. Round, flat, rectangular. Good. All right. And um, Christian, can you do color and origin for us? Okay. A color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Examples: blue, pink, reddish, gray. Origin. An origin adjective describes where something comes from. Comes from. Example, French, Lunar, American, Eastern, Greek. Good. And um, Goliath, can you do material and purpose for us? Yeah, sure. Material, a material adjective describes what something is made from. Wooden, metal, cotton, paper. Uh, should, should I continue? Yes, please do the purpose one as well. And the purpose. A purpose adjective describes what some task is used for. These adjectives often end with ing. Good. All right. So we're going to do some practice with this stuff. Okay. So which is the correct order? A small Canadian thin lady, a Canadian small thin lady, a small, thin Canadian lady, or a thin, small Canadian lady? That's a big trouble. We are in big trouble now. <laughs> so look, look at the top where you have this chart. So we don't have an opinion about, we don't, you know, we're not calling her beautiful or anything, so we can cut out opinion. The next one is the size. So the size of this lady is what? I think oh. it's the four. Huh? The thin, small Canadian lady. Mm -hmm. Small lady. Mm -hmm. Three. Size uh, thin. So her yeah. size like is she? It's a small. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So her three. size is small. What about her shape? Thin, yes, it's a yep, yep, her, sh her shape, shape is thin. And origin. and origin, exactly, exactly. So it would be number three. Uh huh, yep. So size, shape, then origin. Good. All right, what about this one? To learn this by heart. Hmm? <laughs> Say to learn that again. By heart. Yes, you, and once you get the hang of it, like for native speakers, this is, this is very automatic for us. Um, we don't even really think about this. It just comes naturally for us. Um, but yes, this is something that, and like I said, I will give you this website um, before the end of class. 
so let's look at this next one. Which is the correct order for this one? A carving steel new knife, a new steel carving knife, a steel new carving knife, or a new carving steel knife? Four. So maybe the first, the first, the first thing that we would have to look at is the age, right? The age is what? New. New. So it's between yes. two and four at this point. Mm. So the age comes first. It's two because carving is the last word and it's the purpose. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. The age. Then the material, what is it made out of? It's made out of steel. What's it used for? It's used for carving. Good. Very good. Let's look at number three. A beautiful blue sailing boat. A blue beautiful sailing boat. A sailing beautiful blue boat. Or a blue sailing beautiful boat. Uh, number four. Blue sailing. Num number one. One. Number one. Why number one? Because because first is the um, oh my god. First is the opinion and the last one is the uh, purpose. Yeah, opinion, purpose, mm -hmm. and color, right? Yep. Yep. Opinion, color, then purpose. Exactly. Which is the correct order for number four? An old wooden square table, a square wooden old table, an old square wooden table, or a wooden old square table? Number two. Remember what comes first? The age. The age, uh huh. So it's an old square wooden old square wooden table. Number yes, two. yes, yes. Age, the shape, and then the material. How old is it? It's or what's the age of it? It's old. What shape is it? It's a square table. What is it made out of? It's made out of wood. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's look at this one. Which is the correct order? And new French exciting brand, a French new exciting brand, a band, sorry guys, an exciting French new band, or an exciting new French band? Exciting Number new French band. Four? Yeah, oh, why? Because we have uh, the opinion, then the uh, the uh, the uh, the the age uh -huh. and the origin. Yes. Origin. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> you know, sometimes because I've I've seen other websites that also explain and use the chart. Sometimes they will change origin by nationality. Same thing. Same thing. You can you can you can you can use uh, those two words interchangeably in this case. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a big plastic one. Okay, so um, we someone asked if I could go over the order again. So first is opinion, then size, then age, shape, color, origin, material. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh my god! And purpose. Okay, so that is the correct order. Hold on one second, guys. Okay. She must drink water. Okay. Let's do some more of these. Teacher. Yes. When you're coughing, we can say uh, bless you or only when you're sneezing. Normally, we only use that for sneezing. Okay. 
I think it's four. Big plastic red hat. Two. Big red plastic hat. Big plastic red hat. I don't know. <coughs> four. <coughs> the big plastic red hat. Let's look at the order again. So uh, it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big red plastic because pl the, uh, the material is the last. Is right. Yes. The big Color red plastic red. <coughs> yes, so we have size, color, then the material. All right, let's look at this one. <coughs> a small Japanese serving bowl. Drink some water. A Japanese small serving bowl. A small serving Japanese bowl. Or a serving small Japanese bowl. Number three. One small Japanese serving bowl. Small Japanese serving bowl. The number three. Number three. I think it's a four. Number one. <coughs> Why would it be number one? Uh, it, it, it was uh, the purpose. Is or is it purpose? Size. Size. I know the size is the first. Size is first yeah. Origin yep. and, uh, between origin and uh, the use or uh, the word, I don't know. Size, then origin, then purpose. Yes. That's yes. Small. Yeah, I was uh, right. Yes, size, Number origin, then purpose. Do you know, teacher, the movie Star Wars? I used the force. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It's some uh, kind of uh, hint of uh, sixth sense. The sixth sense, the force is the sixth sense. Maybe some I uh, was, uh, I don't know what it's called, but uh, I guessed. <laughs> oh, All right, but, let's look at <laughs> let's look at number eight. Um, a cotton dirty old tie, a dirty cotton old tie, an old cotton dirty tie, or a dirty old cotton tie. Uh, four. 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 Yes. A dirty Why? Old cotton. Yes. Because dirty is opinion. All these are the ages uh, came comes next. Then the material is always the last. Yes. Very good. Good guys, you got them all right. Let me give you this um, website. Yes, that's what we, we have to. It's my weakness, this adjective, I, I admit. Oh, well, good. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll survive, by the way. I think I will live. So, yeah. like the song. Gloria Goyram. <laughs> I, I... Uh, Christian and Jesus, you guys are in the other chat. So let me give you Thank you. The link there. All right, let's um let's see. I've got a couple other exercises for us. <clears throat> let's do some opinions. We're going to talk about opinions. So we have some opinions in the boxes on the left. Your job is to figure out what the person is giving an opinion about. Okay? So are they giving an opinion about a restaurant, a film, a book, a football match, a hotel, or a museum? So the first one's done for us. The food was disgusting. Clearly, oh. that's about a restaurant. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about B? I love being frightened by a good horror film. 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 No. What would that one be? Which one? I love being frightened by. 
can see. Yeah, I don't know. It's make it's tripping out. I love being frightened by a good horror film. Uh, sorry, I was absent. Uh, what is about this? Uh, we have to make. So what you have that? an you have an opinion uh, on on the left, and then on the your job is to figure out what they're giving uh, an opinion about. Is it blinking for you guys? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's you mean your screen sharing? Yeah. It is a little bit. Yeah. Let me try this again. It's film. Like it, it is film. Fitting yeah. in and out. Yeah, but that one. Is, uh, I thought it was hard to find out. <laughs> yeah, Not that horror one. film. It's film. <laughs> uh, it's going. Uh, it's wow. It's being really bad. Goes and come. And comes. The studio was crowded with the fans. Football match. Say, so, why don't you save the file to your computer? It should stop doing that if you do that. Um, it's never, it's honestly never done this before. Oh, wow. I hope it's not a virus. Yeah. No, it's not that. Sometimes it's just a choppy connection. The, yeah, I was going to say, the connection for, for this class has been really weird, so. Yeah. Okay, there it's staying, right? Yeah. No, okay, good. Okay, I just refreshed it. That seemed to have done the trick. All right, the stadium was crowded with fans of United. Football what is, match. Yeah, football match. Good. I was surprised by the score at the end. Again, football, football match. match. Football match. Um, the special effects were amazing. Film. Film, uh-huh. The last chapter is very exciting. A book. Film. Book. book. A book. book, yeah, yeah. Remember, chapters, chapters are books. Um, I am very interested in ancient Egypt. Museum, museum, museum. Okay. Um, the menu was rather disappointing. Restaurant. Uh huh. The hieroglyphs were very well displayed. Museum. Film. Film. Museum. Museum, yeah. Remember, Museum. Hier hieroglyphs are those. The writing of the. Yeah, the crazy uh, pictures and the writings on on the wall. Symbols, so, actually, yeah. they are symbols. Yeah. Um, I was bored with the first chapter. A book. A book. A book. A book. I was. Potter, maybe. I was very tired, and I wanted a nice, comfortable bed. Hotel. 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 Uh huh. A hotel. Very easily this size. Oh yeah. And I had an I had a relaxing jacuzzi before I went to bed. Museum. Hotel. Hotel. If only we were that lucky. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll have a bath in jacuzzi with the mummy. <laughs> yeah. With wow. the mummy, nice. Okay, let's uh, let's do some of these guys before before time is up. So, this this is a little bit harder. Are these opinions grammatically correct or incorrect? If they're not right, I want you to tell me how to make it correct. So the first one, I didn't enjoy the party. It was very bored. Boring. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Instead of yeah, you could you could do it one of two ways. You could say it was boring, or you could say I was very bored. Kind of boring. You could there's, say either one of those. There is mm -hmm. people who say I'm very uh, I'm very bored. Uh, yes, you could say I'm very bored. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, what about the ghost story was very frightening? Is that correct or incorrect? Correct. Yes, that one is okay. I was shocking by what she told me. I was shocked. Uh huh. Shocked. I was shocked. Mm. Yep. Or we can say choking, like uh, having a problem. We change the S up with C. Say that again. 
I was choking. Suffocating. <laughs> oh, suffocating. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, That's let's do two more. The children were overexcited and noisy. Yeah, that's correct me. Uh huh. Yeah, that one's okay. Yeah. And your holiday in South America sounds very exciting. Correct. Uh huh. Correct. Okay, I lied. We're gonna do another one. Um, I was embarrassing when they asked me to sing. Embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Embarrassed. Yes. Very embarrassed. Good. Very good, guys. Excellent. Good. Um. Well. That's about all the time we have. I have to go look at a house because we're trying to move. So yes. um, that's it. Usually I teach three classes today, but I'm this is my only class that I that I'm teaching today. So you guys got in, you got lucky. So 